Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Anticipation is mounting for today's game, and we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's Kaepernick's 49ers going up against Ryan's Falcons. Now we'll head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 9 matchup. Falcons, 49ers on EA Sports, getting set for today's Week 9 matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. Do we have a little upset special coming your way today? One team's unbeaten. Well, I know the undefeated team hopes not, but I'll tell you, Jim, the other team, they're excited about getting out there and getting the chance to put that first blemish on the record. You're always looking for an edge, and when you go against an undefeated team, that's a big edge for your football team. The 49ers are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. The top team in the NFC will start today on defense. They'll be kicking it away here. With that kick, we're underway. Bush has got it. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. Kaepernick's going to be the one leading this offense today. Last week, he accounted for over 200 yards passing. Everybody talks about Colin Kaepernick's ability to run the football, but I think what catches a lot of people by surprise how strong his arm is and how far he can throw it down the field. The 49ers have it at the 29. He takes it on the counter. Soli eyes able to read that play and make the hit. The 49ers offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Second down here. The 49ers in the full house, set now at the line. Hines taking the handball. They'll mark him at the 29. Now we'll get a look at the 49ers offense. A paucity of points on the season. The 49ers facing third down. A week ago, they were not up to the challenge. The 49ers have it at the 29. Looking across the middle. 
When you're in a situation like this, it's third long, what do you think the defense is going to guard against? Long pass down the field. That's right. So it's very obvious, and that time nobody's open down the field, so the pass goes incomplete. They're set to punt it away now. And this will end up in the end zone for a touchback. Ryan's coming onto the field now. He was quite the story last week as he had a perfect quarterback rating of 158.3. Size is a talent when you talk about quarterbacks in this league. And Matt Ryan, every bit of six foot five, and he plays tall, stands tall. One of the reasons why he has success. Now he's going to change the play and look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Spins away from contact. Plays are not always going to be perfect. Tight coverage, good throw by the quarterback, and a nice job by the receiver. Catching the football, breaking the tackle, and getting down the field for a few extra yards. And that's a gain of 10. Freeman's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. The Falcons take it from the 38. Wheeler's the one who brings them to the ground. When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw play because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback, and nobody's prepared for the run. Falcons have it at the 44. Lions on the move. Cooks there that time for the tackle. Here's our look at the Falcons offense. This is an efficient group. Last week turning the football over just once. It's a two tight end formation. Third down and two. Smith's got it on the handle. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Smith's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third and short, he just gets it done for sheer willpower. Looking long. Atlanta in the end zone. Touchdown. Jones' fifth touchdown reception of the year. As we get near the end of the opening quarter, they've grabbed the lead with that touchdown. Yeah, things have been rough so far, haven't they? It's been fun to watch. Each team is being very competitive and physical, but that's a nice thing to do to score that touchdown and get a lead here late in the first. The point after try is in the books. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. Bush is going to start his return. Taken down at about the 33, maybe the 34-yard line. The 49ers offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them when they went to the sidelines, so the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. The 49ers still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Intercepted. He's brought down. 
with the lead and their defense making plays like that. This is shaping up to be a very positive second quarter. And they got it rolling, don't they, on both sides of the ball. And, you know, when you're in a situation like this, be aggressive. Go for the score as quick as you can on the offensive side. Freeman's marked down after a gain of four. Freeman's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second down and six. Scans the field. Out to right. Gains 20. Nice catch that time by the receiver on the slant route. Quarterback puts it right on target. Ryan's three for three with that completion. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. That's a gain of six. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. Now as we come back to the field, following the two-minute warning, we've got a defense trying to hold strong and not allow this lead to balloon any further. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Makes the reception. The 49ers have speed on the defensive side, no doubt about it. And when they're backed up, they don't have to worry about players going by them because they're in the red zone. They become even faster. Way to get to the football on that throw and catch. And they stop the play for a short game. Third and two. Reed is there and makes the play. First down here. Here's another handoff. Buffets all over that offense and brings him down. Second and goal from the four. Reed makes the tackle. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Third and goal to go from the two. And that'll be a gain of about two. The 49ers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The defense needed to slow this game down. That timeout might be very useful. Now they're ready to go. It's fourth down, and it's goal to go. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. Power surge for six. Touchdown. The head coach decides he wants to be the aggressor in this situation. On fourth and goal, he goes for it. Nice play call that time. the Falcons for the extra point. Extra point was good. The Falcons now ready to kick the football down the field. They'll take it at the 20. The 49ers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go. Go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. Second down coming up. Reaches up to make the catch. The 49ers call a timeout and are left now with only one. It'll be third down. 
The 49ers get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Smith's got the catch and the first. That's his first reception today. Managing that clock, such a big deal in the NFL. That's why they're hurrying up. Don't use that timeout. Keep those timeouts because that is going to maybe give you a chance to win the game. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Makes the catch in open space. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The offense stops the clock right away with a timeout. Here's the first snap after the big play. First down as they head to the line. Every team in the NFL knows how to run the two-minute drill. They work on it every single day in practice. Let's see how they run it today with no timeouts left. And that's a two-yard gain. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley is ready to take things over back in our studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The 49ers are behind right now, but the home crowd should give them a boost. The Falcons have come in and looked good as the road team and will just keep trying to play hard and maintain the lead going forward. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Falcons lined up at the 48. Jones is deep down the field where he'll make the catch. And this play goes for a score. That puts them up by a touchdown. 49ers with the ball early in the second. The hurry throw would be picked off. Ishmael's the one who makes the pick to give a boost to his defense. Now following the interception, Tammy's going to take off here, and he'd cap off the nine-play drive with a TD. That puts them on top by 14. All right, Larry, thanks a lot. Second half just about to get underway here as the special teams are about to head back onto the field. The 49ers defense finds themselves trailing here, Phil, but a stop right out of the box to start the second half could swing the momentum for their side. It could, Jim. You know, at halftime, when your team is losing, usually on the offensive side, they're going, okay, guys, let's do this and that. On the defensive side, it's all about yelling, give us more energy, play harder, be tougher. So that's what I expect from the defense right here. The Falcons take it from the 23. Sniff arms to stay on his feet on his way. The 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown. We don't see a lot of them anymore because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. Driving extra point is good. Freeman still got to be catching his breath as the kicking team comes out. He racked up over 80 rushing yards on that scoring drive. Smith's got a chance for a return. And he's taken down right at about the 29 not quite to the 30 the 49ers offense trots out onto the field looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one partner well the fact that they are losing this game so far the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side you know you have many plays in that playbook I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half Godfrey's there to take him down Vernon Davis, one of those tight ends, no matter when he catches the football, look out. He is fast enough, explosive enough to take it all the way. The 49ers have it at the 34. Throws the pass. That's dropped by Smith, who couldn't bring it in. 
Smith is unable to bring that pass in, Jim. He just took his eyes off the football. And when you do that, it's usually going to result in a drop. And those things happen. It's not a perfect game. You've got to overcome adversity. I think this guy will do it. Next time it comes his way, he'll make the catch. To Davis. That's a gain of 10. Holding offense. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. The 49ers have it at the 44. Hines brought down after picking up just a yard. Hines trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short gain. The 49ers take it from the 43. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. Good job by the defense. <laughs> Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. Puts it through the uprights. Needed plenty of leg on that one. Jim, they get the field goal at that time, and it keeps the momentum on their side. It's positive energy. It makes you feel good. Now we'll see if the defense can carry it on. The Falcons in kick return formation. And no return as this goes for a touchback. The Falcons have done a whale of a job taking their halftime lead and adding a whole lot more to it here in the third quarter. Yeah, they're just doing everything we saw them do in the first half. Just dominating the pace of play and just being more physical than the defense. Freeman's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Matt Ryan under center. Freeman's going to secure the handoff. And Eric Reed brings a halt to that last attempt. Good job by the offense here with a good lead in the second half, picking up that first down. And that's what you want to do. Take your time. Look at the play clock. Take it down as low as you can and keep picking up those first downs. And now Ryan's going to take off. Feet first, gives himself up. It's a rough game out there. Avoid hits at all costs. Good job that time by the quarterback sliding before he takes the hit. One more snap, and that'll end the quarter. Now first and ten. Makes the reception. The third quarter comes to a close, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Falcons have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. Final quarter underway now with this snap. That picks up 11. He's got over 130 rushing yards today. The Falcons lead, and you look at their rushing numbers, and that's a big reason why. It's a huge step up from what they've been doing the rest of the year. Yeah, listen, it's hard to run the football consistently in the NFL. You have to have an aggressive, tough offensive line. As I always say, sooner or later, you've got to man up and punch the other team in the nose, and they are doing that here today. Good job that time by the quarterback. you got to lead in the fourth quarter. Don't take chances. Nobody open down the field. So he throws it short, and he gets a completion. Secures it with two hands. Gets about nine on the play. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone. But there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold him. Ryan's now completed his last seven passes. We reach the two-minute warning. Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. Matt Ryan will be taking this one from the gun. Look out. They're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. He's got the catch. A 
another touchdown to increase the lead. Tight ends are becoming a bigger and bigger part in the passing offense in the NFL. It leads to a touchdown this time. Nice job by the big guy just getting in position to make the catch. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The 49ers have been flat out manhandled so far. Perhaps their special teams unit can change the momentum of this one. They need something to go their way. The score's 28 to 3. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Durant's led a defense here today that's played lights out they put the clamps on that offense all game long look they played tremendous and this team is loaded with talent on the defensive side it shows hard to contain them and they just got out there today and got it done the 49ers all bunched up here as they get set at the line and it's complete to vernon davis Godfrey's in on the tackle well this tight end is bouncing back that's a big deal in this league phil and he didn't have a good game last outing, but today, a completely different story. Well, he's such a good player, Jim, that it's hard for him to have two bad games in a row. And so far today, he has been sharp, and the quarterback is putting it right on target. Davis can't bring it in. That'll probably go as a drop. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. The 49ers came away as tough luck losers last time out, and today it's been a problem for them just to try to stay in this game, Phil. Yeah, it has been. And after last week's emotional loss, what you do as a coach, you come out in the next game and you change tactics to give your team confidence and get them going. They didn't do that. That's why they're having such a hard time here today. Third down and four. High falls it in. Gains 11. This is a good opportunity for this team to get some work in its hurry up offense here late in the game. Even though they're getting blown out, go ahead and work on this hurry up offense. Maybe next week you'll need it to win. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. In a situation like this, third long, if you're the defense, catch him by surprise and blitz. Coming to the line at the 35. The Falcons lined up in the nickel. Third and 10. McDonald's got it on a pass that had some heat. That's his first reception today. This is what you do. Never give up in the NFL, even though you're getting blown out. Pass is intercepted. And he's brought to the ground. Phil, can you believe the defense steps up and makes the interception to clinch it for him today? Oh, they love this. Nothing like winning a game with a defensive play to ice everything. And I give the defense all the credit. Just a great play on their part. Jim, no surprise there. You got the lead. It's late in the game. You run the football. Make that clock keep ticking. And you go over these situations so many times in practice. You've got to manage the clock. No amount of time you got left. They've done that well and just keep running it. First and ten. Ryan's going to scramble. And that's Reed who could have had the interception. It's not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Another win here today, and we're starting to think maybe we could talk undefeated season. I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, well, it is crazy, and the pressure truly does build uh, against undefeated teams, but that is a pressure that you like. And I say it to you all the time. Athletes love it when you look at them. Well, we're going to look at them, at them now. Let's see if they can go undefeated.
So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence.